What's going on, y'all? It's your man, Big Tiger, checking in. So, look, I was thinking about something. And I wanted to drop this video around January after the championship game, but I wanted to wait and let it fester, right? And I'm glad I did. Because uh, it's three things that, that the top coaches, and it's funny, Coach Prime has been catapulted into the top coaches in college football, like, in the last two years, right? So... Coach Prime, Coach Nick Saban, and Coach Kirby Smart, they have similarities, but there's a major difference, right? The obvious major difference, you got your race, right? And Nick Saban is more old school. Kirby is a mixture of old school, new school. Dion is old school. But he has a mixture of new school. Of, of, he's he's more current with them. He, he keeps his foot like on the on the his finger on the pulse of the of, of the current culture, right? And then he's trying to do something that's that's fair, and he's trying to teach these kids. A lot of coaches really weren't trying to teach you. A lot of coaches were trying to make you fit inside their system. And once they got what they needed from you, you was disposable. I feel like Coach Prime is trying to give these, equip these guys with the tools to tackle life. Now, I'm not saying Nick Saban and and, and Kobe, uh, Kirby is not doing the same thing. They are, but it's a different kind of love. I feel like that the camp that, that Coach Prime has is, is putting in the players. The other part about it is the flair that Dion has. His, he, he, he can attract some guys. A lot of guys that want to go to the NFL, they want to be that guy. So a lot of guys can learn from him. Coach Saban is kind of real laid back and quiet, and he's the kind of guy that that, that, that daddy that's a man of few words kind of like. That's what I get. I don't know him personally, but that's what I get from watching the interviews and stuff. He's kind of like a Bill Belichick. Um, Kirby is a real intense. Sometimes... I'm just saying from my point of view, when you have a real intense coach, it can rub you the wrong way sometimes. Especially when you don't know their true intentions. You don't know their heart. Like how do they and see, okay, let me say this. And even though Prime had one of the most uh diverse staffs and, and teams in the swag, if if Prime say certain things to to Caucasian players, it can rub them in the wrong kind of way. And if they call home and tell their dad, their dad might say, come home. You ain't, we ain't finna let him talk to you like that, right? The same way with Coach Saban, and, and, and y'all seen the video with the guy out of Georgia that was talking about, like, hanging people and all that kind of stuff. Like, he was working with the staff. See, some of these players know, okay, y'all hang out with this dude. Y'all might have some of the similar views. So it's like a division divide. And even though, okay, I know I got to go to the school because if I go here, I got a better chance to see. I really wish I had another option. But that option has never been there until now. Now, Coach Prime gives these players another option to go not just play for a coach that looks like them, he has a setup where they got other coaches around that have connections, that have NFL experience, where, okay, our main goal is to win games and get y'all to the next level. We never had a coach like this. Like, people knew if they went to Alabama, there's a great chance you can go to the league. What Georgia's done the last few years, a lot of players thought, okay, if I go to Georgia, there's a better chance I got a shot at going to the league. Then, from what I'm seeing, is the only African American man, uh, uh, let me say melanated man, that has created a space where guys can say, if I go there and get coached by him, I got a great chance of being able to make it to the league. He's the first guy. So, that's one thing all three of them have in common. They, they give you a wider door to try to make it to the next level, right? All of them are very intense. All of them kind of was on, on the DB side of the defense. 
uh, Kirby played DB, Dion played DB, and I think Coach Saban played DB. That's kind of weird, right? Um, but as a DB, you you got to be spot on. It's you you got to guess sometimes, but you really don't want to get caught guessing in a wide open with a with an elite receiver because he can make you look bad. So you got to kind of be able to be intentional with what you do. I understand that you're not perfect, but you got to do your best job at all times. Like you almost have to be perfect to have a decent game. You understand that? And that's a lot of pressure. A lot of coaches don't have that kind of intensity. Some of some of them are, are like they own sometimes when it's a big game. What do they own? But from what I see, Dean, Coach Saban, and and uh, Kirby, they want to win every down, every play. Every down, every play, they want to win. And if they don't win, even when they do win the game, they upset. They mad. Now, I've seen Dion and and uh, Kirby dominate. I've seen Dion win, and I've seen Dion have some decent games. But honestly, I haven't seen Dion dominate consistently like three weeks straight. I haven't seen it. Now, he has been piecing together his team's. Kirby and um, Nick Saban, they have been putting teams out on the field that they actually did all the shopping for. They brought in all these players from high school so they got their team that they really wanted and they was ready. Okay, I got my guys. Dion has never had all of his guys. He had portions and pieces of guys, but he's never had a whole complete unit. With these coaches and with these players he got coming in now, it's going to get real interesting. Um, but I want y'all to understand, Coach Prime is going to be able to touch kids that Nick Saban and Kirby Smart used to get. Coach Prime is going to be able to get them with open arms now just because the environment is just feel at home. And that's just pretty much it. And there's nothing Coach Saban or, or, or Kirby or, it will be able to do about it it's just because it's just familiar. It's like hanging out with your uncle compared to hanging out with your PE coach. It's just the difference. But, yeah, that's my spill on that, man. I can't wait till the season start again. Like, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to see if, if Colorado is going to turn into a juggernaut or – and I, I just think they are because of the coaching staff. Or will they, will they crash and burn? Will, will, will all the hype make it crash and burn? And, and you in the big leagues now? But I just feel like it's no big league for Dion. Dion has played in the highs of highs. It's no big league for him. He is the big league. That's how I feel. But I just want to see it play out. Y'all thoughts, man. Y'all thoughts. Who, who's the best coach? Will Dion be successful? Hit the like button if you're still watching. I appreciate you.